My name is Hillary Statham and I wanted to introduce you to my YouTube channel. This is going to be my first video and I have been thinking of starting one for some time to talk with teachers because that's what I like to do, work with teachers and students. I'm a kindergarten teacher in Middle Tennessee and I love being a kindergarten teacher. I also teach an adult English class for my school district and I realized that I really enjoyed working with adults and teaching adults and this has led me to some opportunities to speak at various conferences around the United States and so I have a blog called Pencils to Pigtails and I started my blog when I was on maternity leave with my youngest daughter I wanted to have a blog a place where I could write things helpful um, bits of information give away some freebies resources, ideas, and so I started this blog for mothers and teachers. In the middle of this virus scare that we have going on right now, I am filming this in March of 2020. I woke up last night worried about my students and wanting to make sure that they had the information they needed if they wanted to see Miss Statum. Um, teaching them that they were able to do so. But I also want to make sure that this video will be helpful to other teachers and parents who are looking for ideas of things to do with their students or their children. Um, I have my daughter Aniston in my kindergarten class so it's been kind of fun to be at home. I can continue on with the learning with her and I want to make sure that you're able to do that. Now I just want to be honest with you I'm not pushing Aniston work 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 all day but we have lots of fun activities and so I'll be sharing those with you and the main purpose of this channel is that I will be giving you a standard and so I will put it in the easiest terms for you to understand if you're if you are a working parent not in the education field and so I want to show you what our objective is and then I'm going to show you various activities that you can do at home that will be low prep easy for you to get together or little games you can play with your kids and so let's get started First standard that we're going to work on is relevant for preschool, preschoolers especially will love this, kindergartners and first grade students. And so we are going to be recognizing and producing rhyming words. And I want to show you what I like to use in my classroom to go over the I can statement. And if you are a parent watching this, teachers need to give an objective at the beginning of their lesson. And so this one is uh, I can recognize and begin to produce rhyming words just like I said and so if I was teaching this lesson if I was at home with Aniston I would say we're going to work on recognizing and producing rhyming words and so this is a standard for Tennessee which is where I live as well as the Common Core whichever state you live in your kindergarten student does need to learn how to recognize rhyming words and produce rhyming words and so producing is a little bit higher order for them and so it's easy for them to start to recognize rhyming words it's a little bit harder for them to generate the rhyming words uh, on their own and I do want to tell you that this is just a difficult standard for a lot of students especially our ESL students if you're learning English as a second language it's hard to really listen to the ending sound of words we put an emphasis on the beginning when we're trying to learn a new language and so you're gonna see your ESL students especially struggle with this um, if you are working on English as a second language in your home you're gonna notice this might be a little bit more difficult for your child but the way we're going to work on it is by working on nursery rhymes and so this video is for parents or teachers I'm going to do a separate video where I talk to your child and practice nursery rhymes with them now I'm gonna put a link at the bottom if you would like to get this nursery rhyme um, these are some of my favorite nursery rhymes that I've put on a printable for you and so you can grab that um, at the link I will email it to you and also there's a little checklist and so this is a colored sample of what it might look like after your child gets finished but what it says is that you are going to practice each of these nursery rhymes with your child when they know the nursery rhyme they will add a check mark here it will have just the boxes there and then they will color in the picture that goes along with that nursery rhyme and so Aniston kind of had fun working on this with me she did little Bo Peep first and then she colored this one 
Next, she worked on Jack and Jill, and she said, this must be the picture that goes with Jack and Jill. And so it's just a fun one um, to work on with your kids, and they love nursery rhymes. So um, I would just take my time going through this list, but also you'll think of some that aren't on the list that you wanna work on with your kids. I like to incorporate hand motions, and so I'll show you or your child those whenever you see that video. Make sure you grab that and practice, practice, practice nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are really good for students and children because it increases their vocabulary, their memorization skills. They just love to say them and it helps them to start to recognize those rhyming words. So a couple of ideas to extend this learning. You can watch YouTube videos with different nursery rhymes practice saying them using different hand motions. You'll see some on the video I'm going to show you um, for your student, your child. And you can write out the nursery rhymes, circle the rhyming words, underline the rhyming words, ask your child to draw a picture to go with it, to write about the nursery rhyme. Think of a different ending for the nursery rhyme. How could they have written it differently? Um, that's one that Aniston really likes to think about sometimes. See how many they can remember and recite. This is just a really great skill for them. So I'm starting my first video with this because when we left school, this was something I was working on with my students. We have to recognize different common types of text and nursery rhymes are one of those. You can get flannel boards. You can find fun little pictures of the characters. You can read Mother Goose books. Think of lots of different ways that you can show your students these nursery rhymes. I have some folder tasks that I use with my kids and they're just so much fun for your students or children to retell to you. I hope you guys have a fabulous time working on these. Make sure to show your child the video that goes along with this one, specifically where I talk to children about nursery rhymes.